Neurofibromatosis type 1 is the most common genetic disease in man with a predisposition to cancer. It affects 1 in 3,000 individuals in all populations across the world. Half of those individuals are new mutations, and the disease itself is associated with a range of malignant and non-malignant manifestations. The Well Center, which is part of the Department of Pediatrics and IU School of Medicine, and Riley Children's Health are complementary partners working on a common goal. In the School of Medicine and in, within the Well Center, we focus on preclinical discovery and understanding basic disease pathogenesis with the goal of bringing meaningful therapies to the clinic. That execution of those goals in real children occurs with the partnership that happens at Riley so that we can provide novel therapies to children in Indiana, the United States, and across the world. Indiana University is the sponsoring institution for a multi-investigator, multi-institutional, large programmatic grant from the National Cancer Institute that focuses on cancers from patients with neurofibromatosis type 1 in infants, children, and young adults. Our work is focusing on peripheral nerve sheath tumors, so the plexiform neurofibromas and tumors in that continuum. We focus on juvenile myelomonocytic leukemia, which is a leukemia of babies and very young children. And we focus on glioblastomas, a highly malignant central nervous system tumor. The cumulative work of all this is prior to 2010, there were 14 of 14 failed phase two trials. Using this new or strategy where we use a combination of genetic and biochemical and preclinical models, we've brought forward three new drugs to the clinic that have had success. And one of those drugs is now uh, an FDA approved drug. Patients are feel that their lives have been transformed in that they're having a significant reduction in tumor size and they're having a tremendous reduction in chronic constant pain. Our work is potentially contributory not only to the cancers that we're working on specifically but also to other cancers where there are currently poor prognoses in children. We have built a really strong pipeline of clinical investigators that's allowing us to translate this work quickly to children across the United States and the world.